we want to put a few touches on the video that we did, the fish to grow bed ratio part one, so we can kind of clear some things up and kind of point people in the right direction uh, where they should be going. The school of aquaponics. We now know that there is no such thing as a fish to grow bed anything. Fish don't provide nutrients without feed. So we know that the feed is the most important part in the equation. You can have a fish to whatever grow bed ratio, and if you don't put any feed in there, all you're gonna have is a dead fish to a dead plant ratio. That's it. That's all you're gonna have. And this is not a knock on anyone. This is the same thing that I came out and started with, the fish to grow bed ratio, same exact thing, but until I start dabbling with the systems and finding out, hold on, this fish to grow bed ratio means nothing um, if I keep fluctuating the feed amount, that means it has to do something with the feed. And then I came across the granddaddy of aquaponics, uh, Dr. Rakasi, and then it cleared things up. We were able to clear things up and find out that there's actually a proven method that works um, that you can use to get predictable results and don't have to say uh, this to that many grow bed ratios. You can actually give the whole equation um, in order to get the predictable results that you're looking for. So you can break down this equation in one or two ways. You can base it off of the amount of fish that you have and you can work backwards from there or you can uh, base it off the amount of plants that you have and then you can work back backwards from there. So we can base it off of the amount of plants that we want to grow. We want to grow X amount of plants. Um, let's say we're going to grow uh, one square meter of plants um, and which we'll say is, has, is tw 24 plants per square meter um, at eight inch spacings and we can work backwards from there. Now we need to figure out how much feed input is required to supply nutrients to one square meter of plants? This is what we need to find out. And Dr. Rakosi has done the research at the University of Virgin Islands, and nobody uses these methods. Only, if the, only the gods use these methods. I'm going to put it that way. That's the only people I see using the ratios that have been already scientifically proven instead of just doing the two to three grow bed ratio and not getting anywhere. So the gods use these methods. So they already did the research on it and they found out that deep water culture systems could uh, supply a, a wide variety of vegetables when you input 60 to 100 grams of feed per square meter of growing area. And if you're using an NFT system or a vertical system, something that doesn't house a lot of water, um, then it's gonna be about 75% less. Between 65 and 75% less is what we've tested here. So now we have our feed ratio set in place. Simple as that. So we know how much feed we ne now need to input, and it, now we need to find out how much fish we need to consume that food. And it may vary depending on the type of fish species that you have. So once you reverse and find out how much fish you need to grow at certain levels um, uh, and in a growing phase of the fish to consume that much amount of food, then you'll know exactly how to correctly stock your system. And then from there, you even reverse, reverse engineer it even further. Now you can find out how much water volume you need in order to support that much amount of fish, which is required to eat that much amount of food, which is required to supply that much amount of plants. That's how you work backwards and f figure out the, um, uh, the correct stocking ratios that you can come up with. And you can have a predictable amount of uh, feed and input and, and output um, for your system. Things like this, knowing formulas like this is what separates the aquaponic gods from the, the beginners. And there's nothing wrong with just staying a beginner or a novice. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe that's all you want to do. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's different when you want to, you know, uh, teach people to do something and show people a way to do something. And then it just, it just causes more confusion than helps. And then people start getting very confused um, with aquaponics and they're not sure on how to correctly size things and then it, it they it, you know they start saying that it doesn't work and then you have issues now so if we want to take this thing off or take it to the next level which aquaponics is going to the next level where there's many people involved in it then they're going to have to get taught the right way taught some type of formula instead of just a guessing game and just a two to three grow bed ratio and then people just don't know how much feed to put in and they got all type of deficiencies uh, plant deficiencies and um, all type of stuff going on. So um, this, if we just stick to some type of guide, then we can able, we'll be able to you know resolve all those issues. So this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Woo!